In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to store the answers to calculations in the memory of your calculator so you can use them at any point in future calculations. This is different to using the answer button on your calculator as you can use the stored value whenever you want and it doesn't have to be in the next calculation that you do. So to start with, I'm going to enter run matrix mode, number one. Then I need to do a calculation. I'm going to do eight sine 40. Suppose I want to use this value in a later calculation. To store it, I press the arrow button and then I need to choose a letter. To choose any of the red letters you can see on your calculator from A down to Z, I first press alpha and then I choose my letter, for example, A. Notice that my calculator has filled in the answer bit here and that will always happen if the first button you press is the arrow button. To store it, I press EXE. You can now use this value in later calculations and I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds. But first, I just want to show you something that can go wrong and how you can correct it. Suppose I do a different calculation. Let's do eight cos 40. And let's suppose I accidentally press a button before I press this arrow button. If I press that now, it doesn't say answer here anymore. You don't need to do your calculation again though. Just delete everything on the line and you can get this answer part manually by pressing shift answer. Okay, as this was still the previous calculation, that will still work and I can store that as any letter I want. So I press the arrow. One other way you can store it is you can actually store something under the variable X just by pressing this. And once again, we press EXE and we've now got two different variables stored. Now suppose you want to retrieve one of those values. Suppose we want to use A in a calculation. You don't have to put it in as the first value. I might, for example, want to do eight times A. So I could do eight times. And then to retrieve my value, if it's stored as A, I press alpha and then A, just like when I was storing it. And that will do eight times A. I've also got a value stored under X, remember? Perhaps I want to do nine minus X. And there's the answer to that. Now you might be thinking, why don't I just use the answer button on my calculator for this kind of thing? Now the answer button does have some uses, particularly if you want to use the last value used in a calculation. It's often much quicker just to use that. But the great thing about storing answers to calculations is you don't have to use them straight away. You can use them at any point in the future and you can also use them more than once. For example, earlier when I did eight times A, that doesn't erase A from the memory of the calculator, I can use A in a future calculation as well. 